I'm kidding, Tony. Oh. We have relocated around the arc. Uh, people are still getting changed. We're a mess today. It's a Monday. What's going on, guys? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Glad Ben answered. Uh, around the arc, week seven pregame, presented by East Coast Garage Door. You guys should know them by now. Ryan. Ben Ellis, we're missing one. He'll be here shortly. Tyler, behind the camera. Uh, comment on the video. We'll take your questions. Game of the week is tomorrow. Game of the night, clearly firm, and the serial killer should be a good one yeah, for the serial the killer, too. Matchup. As we were talking about, what's your stat about their schedule? Serial killers have played one team with more than one win, the rookies, and they have two. You hear that, Ty? They have <laughs> easily the biggest uh, joke and easiness of a schedule I have I've seen since I've started working here. <laughs> yeah, um, Joe Vitani, new set. It's working out pretty well so far. We got back we gotta, matches. Let's we we got to adjust the camera a little bit. But Serial Killers, uh, their game that got moved was against Goon Squad, I believe. Mm. So that doesn't yeah. obviously help that. Yeah, that was, their toughest, that was their toughest scheduled game of the year. Right. And it and didn't, didn't even happen. So we'll hold off on them for a little while. Sports look also playing tonight in a battle of one-win teams mm. against White Magic, which is... I know shocking for me that Sportsbook has one win and, and we're in week seven. Um, are they the highly reg most highly regarded team with only one win? Or do, do they belong in that group with, I'm sorry to mention them now, lighted up, you know, Avengers, White Magic? Absolutely not. Are you <laughs> kidding me? I mean, when they added Tyrell Holmes, um, that was a huge piece. I think they've got some elite scores, but, you know, They've got a tough schedule. They're just not pulling it out at the end of the day. They're not getting the win. Um, yeah, I mean, let's hope that come playoff time, they're going to figure out the right pieces and they're going to get the wins then. So Ty Tyrell Holmes was definitely a key addition for them. I mean, without him, for all we know, they, they might not get another win the rest of the season or might not even have this one win that they do have. Uh, I mean, we, we talked to Steve Christie. <laughs> He, he, he didn't good have guy. A, good guy. <laughs> didn't have a great defense. So, you know, uh, they, they just they, they need to see more from the other guys on the team. Scott Benza, he didn't play last week. That didn't help their case at all. White Magic, they, on the other hand, got their first win last week. Positive for them. Actually shot the ball well. Uh, let's think of Steve Buczek, when he, had, he went off for 20-plus points. Yeah. Mike Davis, Mark Ballard, all those guys. Um, not Mike Davis. What's, what's, what's his name? James Davis. Davis. James Davis. James Davis. James Davis. I expect right. that game to be sneaky close, especially White Magic, who are surprisingly physical. And I mm. think that's not a, like a diss. Like, you just don't expect them to be physical. And then you play them, and you're like, oh, all right. Yeah, we got to yeah. play a little bit. Mm -hmm. they're, they're a team that needs to hit shots to win because right. they can play a little defense, and they're not, they're not terrible at distributing the ball, but they... They need to be able to hit outside shots to win because they take so many threes and so many long twos. They're, they have minimum to no inside presence at all. Their top three players, Silva, Buschek, and Ballard, are all perimeter players. So they need to hit threes and outside shots to win. So that's what it's going to come down to for White Magic today. And sports look, they've just had continuity issues, I feel. Nick Baccarello, their point guard, who is may not be the most skilled basketball player in this league, but he's very important to their team emotionally and for sure. handling the ball. And he didn't play last week, and they got blown out because Redemption turned him over. And that's a big key today, that they get him back. I think it's important as well for White Magic to take good shots. They, yeah. We said like, they take a lot of outside shots, a lot of shots from, from three. Make sure that they're good yes. open shots. They tend to force a lot of things unnecessarily. And... Uh, if anyone other than Joe Vitani has a <laughs> statement besides Light It Up should have a win, they played a bum blank team last week. <laughs> uh, comment on the live video. Joe Vitani, we love you. We'll see you tomorrow when the Renegades play. But what team tonight do we think has the most to prove? And this is going to be our uh, token three-word game, so have fun. Uh, <laughs> Does that include the, the, the teams? The teams oh, yes. So, as you can tell, this was not planned. What? So, if anybody wants to go, you need a team. Not crap. <laughs> it's a team. I got, I got it. So, these teams have three games. All right, yeah. all right. Team most approved. All right, the firm upset. All right, there you go. So, playing the serial killers. Serial killers. That's a test. big win right there. Serial That's a killers big win. test. So, two teams from the same game. Do you have a different team that has a lot to prove? Sports look. That's one word, right? Well, sports look, that's I know, one word. We're cheating right <laughs> yes. there, but I'm making sure. Sports look one, one win. Sports look one win. All right. What so, about you? Uh, you gotta I'm going to go with. Challenge. Sure, I'm going to go with reden Redemption. Redemption, Corshard Crutches. <laughs> with a question mark at the end of my three words. Can I have a question as mark? As in, no I, 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 the rules don't matter and they're made up. Uh, uh, will Corshard play this week after sitting out last week? 
Uh, that's a great transition to light it up redemption. Great transition. Won't miss. Is Jalen Graham the front runner now for MVP? I mean, we'll see him tonight. I don't know that we can say he's the front runner because definitely. let's not forget about Carmine Santorelli. He plays in this league as well. Uh, but he's definitely in the top three. He, you know, like you, you can't count him out. He's averaging almost thirty a game. Numbers like that, you're going to be in the contention for. Mm-hmm. I think as long as Carmine doesn't have the same performance he had when he scored only eight Last points, game. yeah, then maybe uh, we'll we'll have a better um, competition there with Jalen and Carmine. But um, yeah, Jalen's definitely <laughs> the front runner for me right now. I'd say it's a three man race. Jalen, Carmine, like they mentioned before, and no one talk. I mean. Okay, I take that back. People talk about him, but no one gives him enough credit. Terrell Vargas, he's got to be in there. It's 20 points, 10 rebounds every week. He plays defense, and he's very important to no limit who's the best team in the league. Let's not forget Mike Davis, too. He might be on the outside of this conversation. He doesn't doesn't have the stats like the other three, but he's extremely important. I think everybody knows about Mike Davis. Yeah, no, Mike Davis wins games, bottom line. The issue is how do you define value, which happens mm-hmm. in the NBA, MVP mm-hmm. discussion, this yeah. MVP discussion. If we all define value the same way, LeBron would win MVP every year. Right. And exactly. Uh, Terrell Vargas would win it in this league every exactly. year. <laughs> right. Um, no, I don't know. Matt Zoko had a pretty good game last year as well. I was going to say, you're forgetting somebody. Uh, shout out to Davin, the league leader in blocks. All right, we got Davin and Joe Vitani commenting on this. Um, Avengers No Limit, speaking of Terrell Vargas. Wow, we're good at transitions. On fire today. Over under 23 pointers made in this game. You know, we talk about the Avengers being a, a shot-heavy team, no limit. Mm. I think took a whole bunch of threes last week, if I remember Ooh, correctly. Short of a lot of threes. Um, <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, over yeah, under 20, and then kind of a key to that game as well. Mm. Avengers 20 no combined? Limit. Yeah. 20 combined. Made. 20 made. 20 combined. made combined. I'm going to go under. Okay. Uh, I don't know that they're going to be able to shoot the ball that well. The Avengers have been struggling recently. We do. I know I was super high on Zach Shapiro. <laughs> I was high on Zach Shapiro as well oh, early in the year, but he's Zach sort of fallen off a little bit for me. If you had the over on one Zach Shapiro mention uh, in this around the arc, you hit big. So congratulations. Try, yeah, yeah. I don't know what the line was, but uh, <laughs> yeah. And No Limit, again, they are built with, they have a bunch of outside shooters. Howie Miller, John Ruin, like we said. Kevin Rivera, I don't know if he's going to be back this week. He didn't play last week, but... Uh, I'm going to go under. All right. I'll take that under, too. Um, last week, Rulin hit a bunch of threes that were, let's be honest, they were prayers. A couple from the deep. Uh, he obviously can hit those. And right. aside from him and Howie, they're not necessarily a great three-point shooting team, but when those two are on, they they could they could hit over 15, but it's mainly going to come from those two. Uh, and, and Ronte, I guess, happy feet can... can <laughs> when he's not traveling. <laughs> when he's not traveling. But, uh, yeah, and the Jack Shapiro last week... Uh, I believe he was held under 10 two weeks in a row, and he's just not been playing well against stiffer defense when people are tightening up on him and no- noticing that he and Derek Davis are easily the two best offensive weapons on that team. Uh, they're, they're going after him. They're huddling him out at the three-point line, and not letting, he's not that great off the dribble, so they're cutting him off where he wants to shoot. Yeah, well, when Shapiro's not shooting, Kevin Conner just kind of takes over. Also, Derek Davis chucks those three, so... I'm going to have to go over. Um, All right. I know No Limit shoots a ton of threes. They're probably going to hit around that maybe 10 to 12 range. So, yeah, Shapiro's been off recently, but expect him <laughs> to be back on fire this week. I expect John Comerford to have a big game, too. He's uh, sort of the second man in charge, it seems like, on that yep. team. He's, he kind of handles the low, low post, he's, does he, the low dirty work. He's there inside presence, but he's going inside where Terrell lives, and Terrell might have five or so blocks today if he shows up. Davin commented, who scores more this week, Carmine or the Avengers team? Uh, there was another rude comment Carmine. by Joe Matani. I need that. <laughs> but uh, the fact that that's a question says a lot about Carmine. Carmine, Carmine plays tomorrow in the game of the week against the Monstars. Mm. Uh, so we'll get to that tomorrow. I just thought that was an interesting topic. We can even, once we know what the Avengers Carmine score today, off right? Carmine have more points. <laughs> I want like one word, and this is not a game. This is very easy. How many lighted up players score tonight? And they're playing <laughs> redemption. Last week was three, three, so you think three again? Is that quickly? I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt and go five. That was not a word. Five, okay. Five. <laughs> five is the word. I'll go five too. Five. That's I mean five of eight people, right? Yeah. Who's gonna make it a sweep? I'm gonna go five. As okay. Well. I guess I'm a trendsetter around. Yeah, that's true. Uh, still time to comment on. We'll be Just on a couple a nice more number. minutes. Now <laughs> to. <laughs> The game of the night, not the game necessarily of the week. The firm, the one game that could be in single digits. 
Games always always surprise us. Yeah, I guess. And always, uh, not always. Not always. Firm, <laughs> yeah, always is a broad generalization. Yeah. Firm and serial killers. Serial killers undefeated. I believe one of two teams still one undefeated. Or two. Mm -hmm. uh, both will both be in action play. tonight. And it's Ben's favorite night, No Limit and Redemption play tonight. So I mean, Hey, I've been clean of the, mess, <laughs> mess, the, of the mix ups uh, other than James up. Davis earlier. but The Firm, 4 and 2, uh, and they've been in a lot of games, uh, losing a huge lead to Goon Squad, which is one of their losses. So they could easily be 5 and 1. What from that game, besides there being a lot of cool dunks that you can watch on Snapchat or on YouTube later in the week? What about that game strikes you as far as kind of what needs to happen for either team to win? I feel as if the firm really need to continue their uh, strong defense. They've been one of the better defensive teams in the league. They've, I think they've held every team they've played under 60 except one. And they, need, they really need to clamp down defensively, especially on Mike Davis. While Mike Davis may not be averaging over 20 points and over 10 rebounds, he can go for 30 in the blink of an eye, and they really need to clamp down on him. Uh, look for Marky D. Rochelle so. to guard him. He's a, probably the best athlete on one of the most athletic teams in the league in the firm. And if he can keep Davis in check, maybe hold him under 15 or so, then Ty Cowher's not going to get his garbage points. And, uh, <laughs> they're going <laughs> to be kept out of transition a little bit, and that's that's their bread and butter, trapping and getting in transition. We hi we, we don't recommend Tyron starts cutting to the basket tonight. Especially no, I learned with, that the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> playing with Tyron, he wants to pass oh, to his body, God. which means he's not going to cut. And I would to recommend... Quote, to quote, if I have the ball in my hands, I could do so much more damage. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see. Tonight, uh, as you mentioned, Marky, which he has a single name now, which is nice. Uh, he's one of those guys with his blocks and his dunks and, yeah. and rim protection. So, um, sorry to cut well, off. For the firm, also, Chris Martinez, let's not forget about him. He's True. a tremendous athlete and plays very well for them, averages just 14 points a game. He's going to need to go off tonight if they want to have a chance. He's going to have to have at least 20, 25 points. And for the other side, serial killers, prove to us that you're a legitimate contender. You, like we said, this is their first real test of the season, so... You know, let's hope there is no garbage time for Ty it's, Coward yeah, to get it's 20 their extra first points. first real test, and it's not... I mean, like, the Firm are a good team. Don't sleep on them. But they don't... They're the number three team in the power rankings, mm -hmm. and they don't play the five other teams in the top six. I just want to see seven, how they, how they seven, look they in, the, the, six in the final stretch. Three, seven. Yeah, they, they lost they them to <laughs> Redemption early on. And they've kind of... They're a completely they're different right? team. Yeah, yeah, the Firm lost. Um, yeah, Markey's been playing. I don't know. This is, like, his third game, I think. So... Yeah. Um, I think they need to find like a go-to scorer, a playmaker that can that they can get the ball to, especially in a game like this for the serial killers where they're going to be playing them really hard. So I'm not really sure. Maybe Larry Littles is their go-to, but um, yeah, I'm excited for tonight. Yeah, that game. Uh, gonna have a little pre-game chat with them, but it's definitely going to be a hard-fought game. Definitely. Uh, I don't think we'll be out of control in the sense of the All score. All competitiveness, right. we'll keep it in check. Right. No, but I, I, I think that competitiveness will show yeah. in the no, sense of that even if it's a 10-point game with five to go, like it's not about to turn into a 20, you know, it's not going to be a blowout at that point because uh, both teams know that mm -hmm. they can make moves. Uh, why don't the Renegades and Olympic play on the same night? I don't know. I'll take that up with whoever does the schedule. Gotcha. And uh, let's see any more comments over here. The firm do need a sniper from three. I think that would really change their team if they had a, a, a Zach Shapiro. Deshaun Hall is the their best outside shooter, That's and he's, he's solid, but they don't have a guy that they could uh, put out there to suck up guys away from the paint. Right. Right. Anything else? Anything uh, just for Legacy League's fans, I did ball all over Tyler this week when we played pickup. Before I sprained my ankle. And I will, I I will speak up for Tyler. Uh, Tyler wasn't the one who left injured. So, you know, for whatever that's worth. But I got points. <laughs> so. We will see you oh. 45 minutes from now. Uh, games begin. And I don't, just in case you didn't catch them, White Magic and Sports Look Avenger and No Limit at 9. Firm and Serial Killers at 10 alongside Redemption and Light It Up. Thank you to all who watched. This was brought to you by East Coast Garage Door. We'll see you for the post game later tonight. That'll be up tomorrow. Uh, Snapchat highlights, as always. Stay tuned to the website. Stats, recaps. Garage Video doors. Garage. Yeah, lots lots of lots of great looking garage doors. Top five plays of the week. We'll see uh, how many plays from tonight make that. All yes, right. Sir. We'll see you in a little while.